while there is nothing wrong with putting as much stuff as you can in your bedroom, keep in mind that a bedroom is a place for you to rest and recharge. You want it to be comfortable and inviting, but if you want to get more sleep, make sure there are fewer things in your bedroom. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and here are 11 small bedroom ideas to make your room more spacious. 1. The whiter your bedroom looks, the lighter and airier it appears. This color is not only expansive, but also a practical choice preferred for a small bedroom. Using white or lighter colors, you can counter the absence of large wall space or windows, both of which are something you need to brighten up space. Start by adding dimension with a subtle pattern. You can also do away with neutral accents, such as a tan bar stool. 2. There is no need for you to have a massive headboard, since it will just take up a huge part of the wall. Try to push your bed against a corner. Not only will you be able to save extra wall space, but you can also make use of it for decor or wall art. This should also give you the opportunity to maximize your bedroom's floor space. Believe it or not, this will create a cozier effect for better sleep. 3. Okay, if you do not want the white theme, then perhaps going dark is your best bet. Just because someone told you that painting a small room with a dark color is bad does not mean you can't do it. In fact, it is best if you embrace the size and the moodiness of a small room. You can also play into it, depending on what suits you. You can start with a charcoal gray or go with a navy blue or olive green. Either of these colors can make the bedroom look sexier and more chic. 4. Use this storage space under the bed to your advantage. It is an awesome place for storing stuff like shoes or off-season clothes. Just make sure you keep things as neat and tidy as possible. Keep this space free of dust bunnies, crinkled up pieces of paper, and old gym clothes. Take advantage of this very helpful storage space, but remember to keep things tidy. 5. Even if you have a small bedroom, you can always go wild with wallpaper. Pick a design you think best describes your personality. A general rule of thumb is to use wallpaper that creates a soothing atmosphere, which are best with lighter colors and minimalistic designs. 6. Everybody loves shoes, but most people neglect them after wearing them. Obviously, you don't want to see them scattered all around your bedroom, let alone piling up by the front door. Store your shoes properly by concealing them underneath your bed, or buy a new shoe rack and tuck it in the corner. 7. Newer constructions these days come with a drywall that is usually hollow and supported by vertical 2x4 wood beams or studs. Check your bed and see if it is set up on a wall that is non-exterior. If so, try to use a stud finder so you can mark where the bed's wood wall beams can be found. From there, just simply cut out an alcove. It is alright if your alcove appears to be not incredibly deep since all you need it for is small necessities such as an alarm clock or books. 8. Just because you have a smaller space does not mean you need small furniture. For instance, you can have a miniature of figurine as your bedside table. It should look really great, especially when it's next to a larger bed frame. You could also go with stuff that can do double duty, like a nightstand with a drawer, or a lamp with an alarm clock. 9. Do you often find yourself having a hard time finding things? Decluttering your bedroom is not a process that will require you hours of time. Start by removing stuff you no longer use, from pieces of paper to unused face cloths or outdated magazines. Arrange books, put all your shoes in one place, Tuck some stuff underneath your bed to save storage space and empty the trash bin. Pretty easy, right? 10. If you want to give your bedroom a striking impression, try installing a mirrored wall. It actually creates the illusion of space and, thus, makes the bedroom look bigger than it is supposed to be. If you think the mirror is too heavy, make sure to use a reliable anchor. 
A recommended one is a winged anchor. Its screws can easily be withdrawn and reinserted anytime you want. 11. Stripes can introduce a fun, playful, and cheerful atmosphere to your bedroom. Pick a width and color you like for the stripes, though you can go with any combination that suits you. From there, apply painter's tape to all trim around your windows or doors. Start painting. Keep it savvy and intact. Paint slowly and lightly. Once you're done, let the paint sit for about an hour to dry. Apply the second coat, which should be really easy. Keep in mind that when you remove the tape, do it carefully. So, what do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comments section. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.